So I'd like to welcome you to part two of Frequently Asked Questions about bed bug detection dogs. Today we're going to show you about the toy drive or prey drive I was talking about in our dogs. Um, this is Cole. He's, a bl he's the black one. He's a Dutch Shepherd. And Olivia, she's an Australian Kelpie. They're both certified bed bug detection dogs. And um, I'm... I have here is their reward toy that we use. This is they sell, sell these in Petco, PetSmart. I mean, it really doesn't matter what the toy is. I tend to use these because uh, they last pretty long. They're pretty tough um, as long as you don't let the dogs chew them. And then they also I I like how it doesn't bounce around. Say we're in a hotel or something like that. I can if I throw it for them or something like that. They won't. Um, it won't bounce around causing the dog to uh, cause a big ruckus or run into things. So anyways, so I'm just going to do a couple things with this toy to show you how driven these dogs are for it. Um, they're absolutely obsessed with it as I hold it here and they're looking, looking, looking at it. Um, so let's step back here and alright, here's a little play, play set here. Let's just throw it up here and see what happens. Yeah, he's attempting to get it that way. Um, they will both obsess about this thing until they can get it. There goes Cole right up. Jumps off. Now he's he's not just going to be happy holding on to it. He's going to want me to play with it. So that's why he already brought it back to me and laid it down. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate their prey drive in another way now. They're, and it's going to be how you take the dog's natural prey drive or um, toy drive and turn it into hunt drive. Um, now these dogs have been doing this for years so they're, it's going to look so easy but um, basically you're going to take the toy I'm going to throw it into one of these bushes as hard as I can and then I'm going to let my the dog loose and let them use their nose to find it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can get it in deep into this bush so they can't see it. So, that is good. That's plenty deep enough because you can't, dog level, you're not going to be able to see it. They're going to have to use their nose to find it. So, let's go ahead and grab Olivia and we'll, let's let you uh, see how she does. Okay, so we have Olivia out here now ready to go. Olivia, seek, ready to go. So we're just going to let her... Let her work this until she... Now she... There is a little breeze out here today, so she's... She's going to have to track that odor down to the source. She's already... She already is tracking it here. She definitely smells it. Now she's just going to follow the scent cone down to the, the odor source. So she's just trying to problem solve and figure out. Now the wind is blowing the odor in that direction on the other side of the bush. And so she's just working, working it, working it, trying to narrow down the location of it. So there she goes. She, she's got it for sure now. She just has to, she just got to figure out how to grab it. And know this bush is very prickly, it's taller than her. You know, she was getting jabbed and it's not that it's super sharp, but it's not the most comfortable thing to, to go into. But, you know, a, a dog, these driven dogs do not care. They will, uh, They'll go right through anything to get this toy. She already threw it to my feet again, ready for more. I mean, she just wants to do this, and she will do this all day long if I if I if I let her. Okay, the next demonstration is going to be. I'm going to shut the camera off, and we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna have to cover his eyes while I throw this toy out into this these bushes here in this little wash.
and then um, before I release him, I'll go ahead and start the camera again, and you'll see how he can hunt for it. So this is this will be a little bit more of a challenge for him, but you'll see he'll he will not give up on it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're ready to go here. I got the toy out in the middle of the wash here. He's ready to go. So there he goes. Now you can, it's going right through this thick brush. Could care less. He has no clue where it even is. I actually do see it. It's actually straight ahead of me here in the. You can see the little bit of red in that bush straight ahead of me. That's where it is. He's real close to it there. Now we have to, in order for him to be able to find it, probably going to need a little bit of a breeze. He's just basically scanning now, just searching for any little bit of that scent cone to follow down to the source. So as the odor, as the object sits there, it gives off odor, and that odor is going to spread around. Um, and it's going to be very minute right now because it's just been sitting there a few moments. And he's got to be in the right direction of the wind in order to get it. And the wind is more coming from straight ahead of me. So he's got a, it's swirling a little bit. So it's more to the left or in front of me. So he's, he's just been on this side of the toy. That's why he hasn't picked up on the scent cone yet. He really needs to get on the other side of that wash. And uh, from that point, he will pick up on the, on the scent, the odor. Okay, so he's deep inside of these bushes again. Working hard over here. Doing a very, very thorough job. There he goes, he got the odor. He's gonna find it now. There he goes. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. All right, so, no, that was a little long, but that just is a good, it's actually good for, your, for the dogs to do that. No, if you notice, he never gave up once. Um, he continued to work until he found it, and he would continue to do that indefinitely um, until he did find the, the toy. So, um, and another thing I was going to say about that is, um, I mean, totally normal for him. It's not like he shouldn't be running right to it instantly. Um, that would be very, very easy for him. It's good to give him a challenge like this. Let him find it. Let him work hard. Let him... You make it too easy all the time, you know, they're going to be conditioned to that. And, um, you know, they're gonna, it's just not going to be good for a long-term search in the, real, in the field when you got to do it. So, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Any questions or anything, please be sure to get in touch with us and we'd be happy to answer. Thanks a lot.